There may be no appropriate person born on the 4th of July than Floyd Little because he truly has been an All-American uh, on the field at Syracuse, wearing number 44, adding to its legacy, but also in the way he carried himself. Uh, when you think about his Denver Broncos career, here you are at the AFL, NFL, and you're going back and forth at that time. And Floyd Little was voted a captain as a rookie and was a captain every year during his time as a Denver Bronco. Does it tell you the kind of leader and the kind of man he was all the way through from his Syracuse days to his Bronco days to life after football? There was just something that was first class about everything Floyd Little did and everything he touched. And I think any of us who are associated with Syracuse know that Floyd Little is the finest of what Syracuse University represents for all time. On and off the field, the leadership, the class with which he did everything that he was a part of, and the excellence with which he displayed his physical ability, his personality, his approach to life. Floyd Little just loved life, and he loved giving of his life as well to so many people. And that's why uh, any of us who've had the time to spend around him are just better for it. You know, the reason Floyd Little ended up coming to Syracuse and not going to Army, where Douglas MacArthur thought that he would be some highly ranked, decorated general, and I'm sure he would have been, was because of the path laid out before him by Ernie Davis. Ernie Davis showed what an African-American athlete could do at Syracuse University winning the Heisman, and Floyd wanted to be like Ernie. And other than a couple of Heisman votes shy here and there, he was so much of that and represented the quality of the individual and the respect. And the, when you look at the legacy of that number 44, it's wrapped up in, in those guys. And they lived it and they showed it and they continued to perpetuate it after their playing days were done at Syracuse with the class with which they represented the institution and themselves. So in every sense of the way, when we talk about that number 44 and the legacy and the tradition, so much of it in heart and soul, not just stats, is represented by who Floyd Little was. One of the coolest things that happened in the last decade at Syracuse was that Floyd Little was back on campus and had an office and athletes, not just the football players, but athletes from all over the campus could come by and just sit in that chair and talk life. And Floyd showed up at all the events and he was present and he smiled and he was happy to be there. And he loved Syracuse and he loved connecting with the athletes. He loved seeing the future Floyd Little in so many of the athletes, male and female who came through, those traits that they had, the chance to spend some time with somebody who'd been there and done it at the highest level. And he was able just to give them a comforting word, a wise word that maybe would have been difficult for a coach to give them at that time. And it even worked for some of us who were alums. I remember coming back to campus and coming to Manly Fieldhouse and walking around the buildings and all that. And there's Floyd Little's office over there and sitting in Floyd's office. And one of the personal coolest moments that has ever happened to me was sitting in Floyd Little's office and seeing a picture of the two of us. And he said, I don't have a lot of pictures with a lot of other people up on my wall, but I've always enjoyed my time with you. And I love how much you care about Syracuse. And I want to have this picture. And that picture's up in my office at home. It's one of the few pictures I have in my office as well, because it stayed with me forever. Uh, how much those words and that kind gesture from Floyd Little meant to me, because I wasn't there to watch his Syracuse days, but I feel as close to him as any of us who were around any of the great athletes at Syracuse because Floyd knew what it meant to be orange. It was in his soul. It was in his spirit. It was in every action that he would take going forward. If you said you were from Syracuse, the world stopped and Floyd gave you his time and his heart. And uh, that was a special, special time for so many of us to have a chance to walk around campus, bump into Floyd Little, be in a game, talk to him, have his big old arm around you, a warm smile. You felt like he was your best friend. He's one of the greats of all time on the field and off. And Syracuse has a lot of wonderful alums over the years and a lot of big names. None more special, none more fantastic than Floyd Little. I'm so lucky that I've had the chance to get to know him and get to see him and get to celebrate what he was all about. He makes all of us better and makes Orange Nation 